going to show you how to make this earthbound inspired shader. So at the core, it's just a it's just circles um, that we're manipulating with a fragment shader. Um, by manipulating the x position of the pixels. So you're going to want to start by just making a sprite with a bunch of circles whose height and width matches your screen size. So in this case, I'm doing 480 by 270. We'll create a new scene. And we'll place the sprite. If it looks blurry at first, uh, you're going to want to go to import and make sure you're set to 2D pixel. And before going on, I'm going to give it a background. Make it some kind of blue. OK, so now let's add, let's create the shader. So new shader, new shader. We'll go shader type canvas item. And we're going to go for a fragment shader. And we're going to be manipulating the x values. So I'm going to create a float that's going to be the offset. So the offset is going to be a, we'll start with a magnitude or an amplitude and manipulate it by a sign that's based on the y value, the y uv, and time. And we'll just give it a multiplier for time as well. And then we will just grab the pixel on the screen and increase it by the x value by the offset that we're going to be working on. Um, what happened? Sign. times. Okay. All right, so we have some some motion here. Let me just save this as shader example. All right, so we can uh, we can manipulate this more. We could increase the time and the uv.y maybe lower the magnitude a little bit. All right, now in this example, they kind of cut through each other. So we're going to need to add that transparency. So let's do that. So basically, if if our y pixel um, mod by 2 is 0, then we could say maybe just make it an empty pixel. Um, so we're going to basically going to be checking if the y value is a 0 or 1 when we mod it by 2. So we can use the mix function for that, which basically we're going to treat the first value as if it's 0, it's going to select that one. And if it's 1, it's going to go to this one, which will just be 0, which is going to be a transparent pixel. So we want to give it a some kind of expression here where 0 gets the actual pixel on the screen and 1 gives it transparency. So we could do something like um, we'll do something mod by 2. We'll do uv.y times the screen size, float screen height, and we'll multiply it here, and we'll do mod by 2. So this is only going to give us either the actual color or empty. And so far, we've got that, which is halfway there. We just need to get the, the other side. So I'll call this wobble one. We'll duplicate it. Now we have the second one. Um, for the second one, I'm going to basically modify the shader, make unique. So first, we're going to want to go negative, go in the opposite direction. But right now, they are basically transparent at the same point. So what I would do is just swap the these two values so that the expression gets evaluated the other way around. And yeah, there we go.